uh, just in time uh, for a quick loo break. Divine, I'm filming. Divine, Jojo, and the rest of them. My favourite boots. Yeah. Oh, good to see you. Thank you for so long. We got slowed down massively by oh, Birmingham. But, always. Thank yeah. you. What time yeah. did you set off? Um, about half past eight. Half past eight, <laughs> so, Jesus. Yeah, it was quite a that long was a drive. journey. <laughs> Ladies, welcome. Thank you so much. Let me just quickly film this. So this is what we had today. We've had our white uh, walk for Call for Calm this morning. And now we're joined by these ladies who set up from Stroud in the early hours of this morning. Thank you so much for coming. You're very welcome. Um, do you want to come in and get yourselves a cuppa, go to the loo before we head up to the side of the road? How long do we have you for? Um, we, we, we're good till about six. So have you got a driver or are you the driver? You're the driver. Brave women. You're very brave. Yes. Um, come through and we'll introduce you to the hub. Sure you in the loo. Sorry as well. Hi, Becky. Yeah. Thank you. Let me just film them walking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, um, on Wednesdays we do a women's walk and it's called a call for calm. All week it's really violent and crazy up here. And it's the one day where we actually have control. We sort of cooperate between the police and us where we say these are the things we're going to do, please facilitate it. We get a small slow walk. We do a 15 minute silence at the gates where we just hold a vigil in front of the police. And it's really powerful because I was trying to explain it to one of the children the other day that it's actually the strongest thing we do all week because that's right the rest of it is just reactions reactions yeah this is planned no one else can say shut up and make the street go silent no. uh, so we went Jericho filming eh? uh, so the street goes silent and it's just really beautiful and then we after we've done the 15 minutes we do a song or a chant then we cross the road then the women have come and usually there's loads of first timers and it's the only time in the week they can come where they feel safe yeah. and then they'll tell their stories of why they're there and so on so it's a really powerful thing so did you come this morning on this bus yes yeah, yeah. wow well, really long journey yeah so this hub is um, gifted to us by the local landowner john who allows us to use this space so we have a kitchen that can cater up to 400 right. uh, we've got a media tent general indoor tent and uh, our favorite bit is this cafe type area everything's free you don't pay for anything all the, every night there's a meal at 6 30 and to the left there's the and that's just during the daytime available for toasts and crumpets and whatever else you need community notice board we've got the toilets empty just in time for you guys coming horrible <laughs> yes all uh, right so i'm in the hub now so i'll uh, i'll stop filming in a minute so that meal's pretty, we do an evening meal, um, free, every night, we've got the food, so we've got the food, um, we've just got our notice boards underway, this is kind of like a meeting zone, um, chill out, and we're going to have movie nights and things like that. Fantastic, I love it. Come, Tim, because if you want to walk this way, you I'm going to follow this guided tour because it's quite nice, really. <laughs> I've not done one of these myself. <laughs> Got all our Wi-Fi connected up now. Uh, we units, so it all helps improve things. We can keep equipment on site then without worrying about it going walking. We dragged them out when we got an event going. But we had a, a mishap, our store temp for all the food blew down Aww. last week. We had to sell all the cans and stuff behind there. So that's the end Don't look behind the screen. <laughs> Don't look under there. So this way is our welcome to where we sell the merchandise. And these are our lovely ladies. And gentlemen. And, ge and gentlemen. Hi, ladies. Like the zoo, isn't it? So just uh, again now because we've got lockable units, we can start storing the merchandise in here. Yeah. Leaflets. Here you got some of my leaflets. Look. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's asked. Yeah. Do you know Jojo? Oh, He's our number one bestseller. Jojo Major. Yeah. 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 We're charging yeah. five pounds a time for these. <laughs> <laughs> Ask about, but there's a big That's tide great. festival at the weekend, and there's a lady going with a team. This is a red tent. So they're going to be giving out. We're not strange colours. Really? Do you need to take a great colour? If you have any, I've got. I mean, I haven't got them here with me, but I can. Oh, I can definitely. carry them up to you. No, no, definitely. They're great. great. And also, so, these Mythbuster ones are going really well. Yeah, yeah. we're going to have to set up a post on the. Guys, for here. I'll get Phil to do it. He did it for Nana. Oh, 
So in case you're wondering, this is just me filming me. Uh, wait. So this is just us filming the arrival of the lovely coach load of ladies from Stroud, uh, including Jojo Meta, one of my favourite people. She produces some amazing literature, does a great deal of research, works determinedly, has done for years. She's an amazing woman. And uh, they're just getting a little tour of the site. And in the meantime, we don't often film around, Ma uh, around Maple in the hub. I'm filming, so if anybody's saying anything dodgy, don't. Look at that, he's learning how to crochet. I love oh, the crocheting. I know. Did I hear you made some this morning? And we put, Who let you? Um, we told them we were making popcorn. Who put the gas on? We did. Were you monitored by an adult? Yeah, Gordon. Okay. Then you went to like no charge. Next time check with us, we wouldn't have said yes. If you're looking to visit and get involved, this is your best starting point. It's come down to Maple Farm, PR4, 3PE. Come in, have a cuppa, get to know us, pick up literature. There's toilets, there's always a meal at 6.30 throughout the day in the, what we like to call the Rose Cafe, is the toasters and fridges, so you can always have crumpets and sandwiches and cuppa soups, coffee and tea. We work entirely on a donation basis, so everything's free. So if you have no money, don't worry. Come down and participate anyway. And if you do, then great. Leave us a donation if you can. Uh, but the community provides. The community provides very well. And then if ever you want to come up and stay, just through that gate is Wonderland. It's our little campsite. Do you want to take a look at the campsite if ever you want to come and stay? Shall we carry on with the tour? Absolutely. Yes, yeah, sorry. sorry. That's all right, my love. <laughs> Following Julia's tour guide. She needs one of those umbrella things, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Do you know I used to do that for a job? That was my job. Did you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Frost, lovely, Italy, um, <laughs> Most importantly yeah, is this side. I mean, it, like, I was starting with this side. Oh, yeah, the pretty one. The yurt. Over there, which is being utilised for spiritual... Well-being. Well-being. That's the one I was looking for. Got it. This side, fortunately, from the day and on yesterday, when they were all being empty. Oh, <laughs> bad. <laughs> Well, we have um, now some nice, clean, fresh toilets. Disabled on the right. One, one day, soonish, we will have a nice big composting toilet block, which will be this way, which I'll show you. People. How long have you been on Since January. Since January, but really only really coming together since July when RTP were here. Well, we've used this space as Nana's since fourteen, but 2014, haven't we? Oh, I, yeah. But yeah, to actually put it up and operational like this, reclaim the power, help us set up, and so did frack off. We couldn't have done this. They did, they did. We could never have achieved. We've always had the polytunnel, but we could never have achieved this. Like with kitchen oh, that's stuff. Great. And this is where we sort of live. Cool. <laughs> Children's tent. Is this, is this you Facebook living? Yeah. <laughs> I should probably warn people that I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what burst into a private conversation. So, when we play that lock on... I was like, they don't want me to know you said, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and first, when we first opened this, though, the first thing that appeared inside the children's tent was mini lock-on kits. And then a bunch of children going, I'm not going to bed, I'm locked on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a creek over there, though, so we're conscious of that. Yeah. Children have been busy building tree houses. It's great. It's actually quite a little tranquil beautiful and the nice thing with it is that because we didn't have to take it or section six it it's gifted um we're okay you know it's not like you you live in fear of being thrown out yeah no that's fantastic oh i see josh has been collecting again josh walks around with his shopping trolley collecting stuff any <laughs> stuff it's a quiet field though because that's a retirement village over there right. so consequently it's only um, everyone's quiet but after 10 o'clock there are children on the field so yeah. you know there are other camps of people who choose to be more late night sure. uh, but ours is very much a quiet one Fair enough. I'm just live streaming for a change in this field just to show 
You can always tell a nana tent they have the sunflowers. So there are sunflowers, it means that's a nana residence. Okay. And it helps though with some of the people who arrive when they're new. Yeah. I need to have so yeah so we, we had a, a little mini bus full of uh, Gloucestershire elders perfect <laughs> geez you're, you're really merchandised there kid for about a week you got a waft of woods and like almost blue did you steal all of the merchandising no, stuff no, darling no I had to buy it what you, put you had to buy it it was lovely it was like, it's gone how much money did you pay for that them two free um that one free that one mo that one money that one money and that no that one free and that how much were these are they really expensive not that much more than 10p yeah okay did you have enough yeah that's lucky Precious puppy. Fortunately, they can't come across the creek, otherwise, they'd be worried. Yeah. Um, they said to keep an eye on our numbers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn the live stream off in a minute. This is just uh, to introduce you to the ladies from Stroud, the elders from Stroud who've come to visit us today. And uh, a quick look around Maple, because it's been a while since we've done that. We don't often film within the hub, uh, because that's where a lot of planning takes place, and odds and ends are happening, and there's notices on boards or equipment and things laying around, so we don't generally film. But it also helps to demystify, though, and I think for some people who are scared to come straight to the roadside, as many would be, um, a handy faucet in this field. Soon we'll have composting toilets and a shower, which would be nice. Yeah, but just it helps to demystify so you know you can actually come here and uh, be part of our world without having to go up straight to the roadside and encounter all the, the bad stuff that happens up there. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go off now and stop filming. <laughs>